James McGinn. We are back from really rad weekend in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. It was put on by Joe and Sam at over at Rad Bar. Rad Bar and Rad Junk. They have two, or they have a store, and then they have a barcade out there in Florida. And um, yeah, it was awesome. We got back. We're unpacking right now the uh, suitcases. Where, where, where did we get those suitcases at? Oh, man. Thrift store, local area. Right? I can't remember. It's like a mission or something like Missionary, that. Missionary, yeah. Something yeah, it's a good store. spot. But yeah, it's a good strat that you it's have. It's a good strat. That. Yeah, so if you've never heard of this strategy, we basically went to some flea markets and stuff. Uh, in the search of video games and toys and nostalgia and things like that. But we also went for suitcases because we wanted to ship things back from the con that we bought there. And that is just an easier way, um, not to ship, but to actually bring bags on with us um, through our airline. So if we would have shipped all of this stuff, you're kind of seeing a little bit of it, it would have been probably uh, over a hundred dollars. I mean, there's stuff everywhere right now, but it would probably would have been over, you know, 120 to 150. We got these suitcases. One of them was like six bucks. The other one was 14. So we got those and then we just brought those bags on with us and checked our bags. Um, so it ended up being like $55 or something like that. So you save about half. So that is a good strategy. If you're ever traveling to conventions and you're wanting to buy stuff, go to the flea markets and get you a suitcase. So this is what we are doing right now. We're unpacking all of the stuff and my goodness, there is a lot. There's some heavy hitters in here too. I'll show you a couple of them. Also, guys, if you didn't know, this is the second channel. We have a, we have a main channel, it's right here. Editor Michael will put uh, a little link to it. Um, it's called Retro Rick. Basically think the main channel is American Pickers, but for nostalgia, we're going all out all over the place trying to find this stuff in barns and flea markets at conventions. And then this channel is more like, a little bit more of like the Pawn Stars of this stuff. So go check that out. You will see some of this stuff picked um, in those videos. So make sure to check that out. But this is it guys. We have tons of VHS. Tons of shirts, tons of games. We're still pulling stuff out. There might even be stuff out in my car still. A lot of stuff from really red weekend. Ooh, check this out, guys, check this out. That was my like guest badge for the show. Like above and beyond, Earthbound's my favorite game. They made it Earthbound font and everything. That was like a huge, huge touch. I love how that came out. Uh, really thankful for that. Um, what I'm not thankful for is what we get to do now. So um, the fun part, if you ever talk to any reseller, any hunter, it's always about the hunt, right? It's the thrill of the hunt. And then you get back home and then you just have so much work to do. You've got to process, you've got to clean, get your toothbrush out, you got your toothpicks out and you're having to process all the stuff. And then you have to either list it online. For us, we have to process it all the way through the store. The fun part is finding it. I am convinced this is the worst part of video game hunting. And if you're a reseller, video game reselling is this. Having to go through all of these, clean up the cases, take off the stickers, clean the discs in our disc resurfacer. Oh, in our disc resurfacer, getting uh, all these stickers off. It's just time, man. I'm talking quite a bit of time, quite a bit of time to do all that. Um, but it's part of it, it's part of it. So we're gonna do that. And then also, this is this is also not a good thing. And it just kind of comes to the territory. It broke, it broke in transit, it is part of it. it. You put stuff into suitcases, it's bound to happen. So that stinks. This all stinks, honestly, to do this part, but it's part of it, man. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I do wanna show you a couple cool pieces that we did get, check out. So this is a, actually a softball and a guy made a Mad Balls slash TMNT combo with that. That's pretty cool. Michael, what was your favorite thing that we got? What are you, what are you, what are you saying? Man, let's see, we've got, we have this control deck that was really, really cool. That is cool, yes, I love that. That, that was, was a, a nice piece. really clean look. I there. would figure, I would figure you'd say this is your favorite thing. Mr. Uh, Basketballer, Mr. Basketballer. I, I love this. We picked, we picked that, uh, what, what year is it? This was a 96. 96 Bulls, freaking Bulls champ shirt. Oh, 
well, you got you got uh, Coach, right? Yeah. Is that Coo Coach, Jordan, Kerr. I don't know who that is. That's the only guy I don't know. I don't know that guy. That's that Luke Longley. Yep, that's Luke Longley. Ron, Ron Harper. Harper, Pippen. Ooh, ooh, Paxton. That something? No, I don't know. I don't Rodman know. Rodman up top. Yeah. Anyway, that was really cool. Look at this. Look at this. 1982 Masters of the Universe kite, Skeletor. So a lot of really, really good stuff. Um, we got a couple things to do today. Nothing like insane. Yep. Mostly this. Mostly just grinding it out all day, getting all this stuff into the system. All right, Joe's got a game. This is yours. That is personal. Mine. Yeah, it's a personal collection. Trading it in. We got yeah. Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, very expensive game. Yeah, it's actually one of the worst games Pokemon's ever made. Not very good. Not very yeah, interesting. Good yeah. Well, you're gonna trade it in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little game. Eighty dollar trading credit. Okay. Or a hundred dollar trading credit, Ooh. depending on if you can make Pikachu, Pikachu into this. But listen, it's not gonna be as easy as that. We need you to be like blindfolded, dog. Blindfolded? Blindfolded or or. Clo I mean, we can close his eyes, but I, I mean, trust Joe. He we trust him. Okay, we trust him. So what what you're gonna do? He's probably blind without his glasses. Here, let's do this. So what you're gonna do? So here, you're straight up. You're straight. Okay, but now we want you to spin three times. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Whatever one you want. Yeah, you pick. What if spin I it. Like this? Okay. Yep. One. Okay. Three. Okay, I'll just throw another one. Right, right now there. you're good. Okay. Okay, you almost made it into a different one. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the Simpsons thing. We even give him three tries. I mean, because we're not giving him any. Okay, fine. Two tries. Two tries. Okay, two. Uh, did not work out. No. It doesn't bounce. It doesn't it's bounce. A, it's a one, bounce. one, two, two, three. Good. That's almost a three D movie. Okay, eighty dollars credit. Sorry, man. What we got over here? Okay, we got a, uh, a new building effort in the store. Christy's husband came in and built some cabinets for some Shoo! of the new. Uh, should we plug? Should we plug the business? Can we? Is that yeah. is that allowed? Hey, we're in Arkansas. Hey guys, if you're in Arkansas and you need cabinetry, what's Mom, it called? M Works Creative Custom Cabinets. He will put a uh, info card right there. Yeah, so with all the new glass that we're putting out on the floor, we do need some cabinets. So Wes did a fantastic job. All the quality. lines look straight, the corners look good. Looks great. Really good work. And these are gonna be great because these aren't, these are gonna be glass. There's gonna be a top on this, mm -hmm. and then basically there's gonna be shelves. So we'll kind of guide you out here what this is gonna look like. Um, we're gonna put these, as the awesome Earthbound music is playing right now in the store, we're gonna put them right here. here. So we're gonna take these out. We're gonna flip that right into here. And this will be like trade station number one. And I don't know how much we've said it, but we're gonna revamp this whole area. We will show you what that looks like here very soon. So we have that cabinetry. And then the other one is going over here, I believe. Yes. Here, right follow, here. follow me, follow me this way. Follow me this way. So this is actually our dead, we call it our dead cabinet because nobody ever looks at this cabinet so we kind of have just a dead controller, in there. controller oh yeah there is a dead controller wow that's why it's in here so this will be um trade station number two so that will be another area and that is where that whole thing is going so it's coming along tomorrow what's tomorrow we're painting them tomorrow painting yeah we're gonna paint all the cabinets it's supposed to be a good day so we're gonna take them all out you get them all painter? painted up yeah pretty good Okay. Picasso. It's like abstract. It's oh, no, no, no. Place. We're just going to go straight black. Oh, well, it'll, I'll still find a way. Have never heard of this game in my entire life until I got this this last week at uh, the convention. Mohawk and Headphone Jack. Editor Michael will put up some gameplay as I'm talking about this. It's wild looking. You are... It, Mohawk and Headphone Jack are funky, flexible life forms, is what it says. And it looks like you throw compact discs. That's crazy. Not near as crazy as these. So I got these at the convention as well. A guy custom makes these out of, guess, guess this is crazy, 
freaking softballs. He takes softball cores and then shapes them to make them basically mad balls, but like collabing with different things. So we have the gruesome bomb arm, which is awesome. Look at him. He's just all busted up and bleeding and he would just rest them like that. And then we have my favorite one, the Mikey with the bugs and the freaking pizza. Love these. I got these for like, what, 40 bucks a piece? There's no way he's making anything, guys. The time that it took probably for him to make these was a lot of effort. So happy to add these, but now I'm gonna head to my other job, but you guys wanna stick around for tomorrow's video because, or the next video, because we're about to revamp this whole section. 